come to the uh, eight steps of the Eightfold Path, we're going to go through each step. Um, the first one I'll ask about in just a moment, uh, which is about the problem definition. So the first thing that a policy analyst confronts is the question of what am I doing here? What's the problem? And that's where your book starts with the question of define the problem. Uh, why is that so hard and what, what's involved in doing that? Before I answer that, let me just make an observation. You know, you said correctly, first step is define the problem. No, it's not problem definition. Mm -hmm. Problem definition is a, a noun. It's a thing. Define the problem as a verb in the imperative mood, if you remember your <laughs> Latin. And um, that's a, there's a point to that. The point is, it's addressed to you. You're, you're, you're an important agent in this. It isn't just a thing that happens because you applied the right algorithm. Mm -hmm. it, you never get out of this. It's you, it comes back to you in the end. You have to do it in a transparent, public, uh, reasoned, reasoned and objective way, but you are part of the process, okay? You're the analyst, okay? Now, to return to the question of defining the problem, why is it so hard? Uh, I would say the number, it is very hard. Uh, it's probably, in a way, the most important and confusing part of the thing, and you can change your mind about it as you go through the whole work. But it's, it's hard because you never, you know, defining a problem correctly almost always entails going beyond the rhetoric of the issue that's sort of out there in the political world. But you're going to be captured by that, you know. And uh, your client. And your client is, have strong for sure, and your client has a certain way of speaking and seeing. And often you'll find that you have to sort of help the client straighten out his or her thinking about stuff, including the definition of what the problem is. So sometimes they think they really know. Um, and sometimes they, they think they, they know what's of interest to their own agency and you know, that's to be taken quite seriously because they do know better than you, almost certainly. But you have to come at this with a fresh mind, an independent mind, your own critical lenses, and you have to learn some of the, uh, we call them techniques, um, that uh, I think are helpful in keeping your head straight about defining, like for instance, it says in the book, don't define the solution into the problem. Like there's a problem of homelessness. We have to provide housing for these folks. Uh, well, yeah, but uh, there's more to it than that. It's not just a housing and shelter problem, okay? And maybe we don't have to do it. Maybe we're going to give them something that helps them to do it. So if you, you have to be careful about not defining the problem, you know, too little shelter or something like 